Ella Tanzi with your first alert forecast. We are embarking on our warming trend this weekend as a toasty high pressure system moves into the Cape Fear. Now this high pressure system is going to bring lots of warm air into our area. Now as we go throughout the new week ahead, we'll see this warm air continue to push into southeastern North Carolina, leading to above average temperatures. So how does that exactly translate here locally? Well, tomorrow we'll see temperatures closer towards seasonable and as we go throughout the new week, we are going to see lots of lower and middle 80s dominate the board. So lots of above average temperatures heading our way to southeastern North Carolina here for tonight. Partly cloudy skies, temperatures cooling off into the upper 50s, while tomorrow we'll see lots of dry time throughout the day with temperatures peaking in the upper 70s. Now as we finish off the last weekend of April, we are going to see nearly perfect conditions for a majority of outdoor activities from errands to grilling and to boating and that's all due to mostly dry skies. Now April showers bring May flowers, but we are ending this month with lots of dry time, essentially slim to modest rain chances, and we have to bring you to our long range model to pinpoint our next best chances for some rainfall. So let's walk you through starting tomorrow morning. That high pressure ridge is going to be continue to be dominant over our area, bringing for lots of dry time throughout the work and school week ahead. As we get closer towards midweek, we'll start to see those rain chances increase as more moisture enters our atmosphere here in the first alert for Forecast Center, we are going to continue to keep you up to date with those rain chances coming our way. And let's take a look at what happening across the eastern United United States right now. We do have a few scattered showers across the board. That high pressure ridge is still off to our north and that will be expanding into our area. Now as we look out towards the Great Plains, they are continuing to see active weather, severe thunderstorms happening out there here locally as we bring you a little bit closer to home. We only have a few pop up showers again. Make sure to have your WECT first alert weather app with you if you have any weekend plans for later this evening. And let's take a step outside with our Bob King GMC first alert sky cam in Wrightsville Beach. We have seen mainly overcast skies today as stratocumulus clouds are lingering around. It has been a relatively nice day across the board. Temperatures peaking in the middle 70s. And if you're thinking about making tomorrow a beach day, well, just be cautious of some moderate rip current threats for across portions of the Cape Fear. Also make sure you are bringing some sunscreen with you as we'll have a relatively high UV index for tomorrow. Lots of dry time throughout the day. Temperatures really starting to make moves as we enter into the new work and school week. We'll see those upper 70s translate into lower and middle 80s as we enter the new week ahead. And we are ending the month of April on an above average note here in southeastern North Carolina as it'll feel more like summer rather than springtime and Delaney. We're really going to be cruising into the 80s for the week ahead. Well, I for one am definitely looking forward to that. Thank you so much, Ella. And as Ella was saying,